Today I will be changing this battery on this old Honda Odyssey using this wonderful Husky tools that uh, my wife just got. And it is totally complete and what we're gonna be using for that is a ratchet and a cap number 10. First of all, you have to get your um, negative pole and after that, you gotta get the positive pole. So we will be doing that, making sure that it is in the right position. And it was, and this is the easiest way to do it because you have the ability to make your hand work around really easy. You get it? You put it in a place in which it wouldn't touch anything else other than that. And now we take the positive um, side of the uh, battery. It is recommended that you disengage uh, your negative first and after that your positive. You put it on the side and now we gotta get this couple of um, holders in the battery and then the battery will all come out. Okay, after that, this item is gonna get loosened and you take it very carefully and I have to take this uh, with a screwdriver you make sure you make it uh, give it a little pressure so it will leave uh, your battery free to go right out and then you just pull it right out of the housing it's very heavy and it is also um, now this is the new battery making sure that you have your positive on the left and your negative on the right. Right after that, what you get is your um, brush and make sure that you will clean up your ends. because it's got a lot of junk from the previous acid. That's very nice and clean. This one is also very nice and clean. Once you got your ends very nice and clean, here I have a little bit of remnants um, grease that you will use in each one of your two ends in order for the ends not to get rusty so fast. Right after that, that I have the battery there, the um, glue or not glue, excuse me, the um, grease on it, you have to do your first, your red one uh, in reverse First, when I took it off, I took it off first, my negative and then the positive. Now I am putting on my positive first and then the negative. And of course I have my grease on it and I have the uh, remaining from my previous old battery, but this is still pretty good. So like that, it won't damage the end of my battery. I will reuse it and I will put this one on myself right here. Yep, once I got that there, I'll make sure that I will tighten it up very nice and snugly with the tool that I, that I had over here. Before I tighten it and begin the tightening, I am going to be um, putting my uh, holder uh, for the battery. So like that, it will be a lot easier uh, when I begin tightening. In my car, you go here first and then you will make sure that it is grabbing back there. And then you go here and follow the, um, the cars. Um, reinstall 
my battery holder to the car prior uh, of tightening all the bolts. Let me see back here. I also got a flashlight to make sure that I have everything under control. Yes. First, now here a little bit to make sure that it is. It came out. Okay, wait, now it is, then you position it in a way that it will be nice to your battery. And then now you fully tighten it. Side by side, making sure that you not over tighten and break the battery and that will be defeating your purpose. Now the beauty is that these tools have certain amount of clearance for you to put this um, long, long, long screws that I got right there, as you can see. And that's what's the beauty of this particular uh, tool. Okay, I believe this is nice, tugly and snugly. Okay, now we are going to do what we already began doing at the beginning which is tightening your terminals. You got the first one, you got it really nice and tightened. Do not over tighten, remember that. Now we are going to go and position my negative and I already have the grease down to it. I have my ends very nice and clean and I will be putting my second um, terminal on. I will tighten it just as well. And as I said, these tools are so nice for that because you can also keep a clearance between your ends and yourself. With other tools, yes, you can do it, but not as nice and easy as you will do it with these particular tools. Okay, so the job is done and we will test the car um, how it starts. Okay, that's it, the job is done. I will close my hood later. I will do some other checkups. I will make sure that everything is nice and snuggly. Now, what I'm gonna be doing is, I will be returning this tomorrow at my local Costco, which is where I bought my battery. Bye.